Yo, what's up, guys? Somebody went today, man. It comes to you guys with more NBA breaking news. Now, today we're gonna be talking about DeMar DeRozan because he has finally picked a new team. He's moving off the Chicago Bulls, which I know Bulls fans, if you would have told, told them this last year, they would have been like, nah. DeMar is going to resign and stay with the Bulls. No, DeMar DeRozan has picked a new team, left Chicago, left the winning city. And according to Woj, DeMar DeRozan is headed to the Sacramento Kings in a three-team deal, a sign-and-trade deal with the uh, Sacramento Kings, the San Antonio Spurs, and the Chicago Bulls. The Kings obviously get DeMar DeRozan. The Spurs get Harrison Barnes. And the Bulls get, I believe, Chris Duarte in two second round picks and cash, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it's HB and Duarte to the Spurs, two seconds and cash to the Bulls, whatever. The main point is the Motor Rosen is a Sacramento King and Kingsmith. I'll be honest with you guys. This is pretty good. You get off the Harrison Barnes contract. You add DeMar DeRozan. Yeah, he's not a D-level score, but he's a two-level score. He's a mid-range assassin, a mid-range killer. He just shot, I mean, he just averaged 24 points a game. Now, he did shoot 33% from three, so he's not a floor space in terms of three-point shooting. But what he is, is a mid-range assassin. He can get downhill. And in my opinion, DeMar DeRozan has been a very... And I mean, very underrated playmaker, really, for a while. I remember he had that point forward in a couple of seasons with the Spurs under Greg Popovich. And now with the Bulls, one of his, one of his most underrated traits, in my opinion, is his playmakers. You now add a guy that can go downhill, he gets in the mid range, king of the fourth quarter, mid range assassin to add to a team with the previous or before this season, the clutch player of the year. De'Aaron Fox. You have the Martin Rose and, and De'Aaron Fox in the clutch. Don't get it fucked up as well. Malik Monk is also a really good clutch scorer as well. So you have three really good clutch scores, which is just an absolute boost to add to this team. The Kings had the best offense in basketball two seasons ago, and now they add one of the most underrated scorers in the league, in my opinion. Uh, he's still a very, very good player. He is 34 years old. You also will show you guys what the contract is for DeMar DeRozan as well. But in my opinion, for the Kings to move off of Harrison Barnes to get a guy like a, De a, a DeMar DeRozan. And now you see the Spurs go out and get Harrison Barnes. I think they will reroute him. I mean, maybe he can be the veteran presence for the... Um, maybe he can be the veteran presence for this uh, Spurs team. And at Chris Duarte, I'm guessing again that he... Okay, so it says... Harrison Barnes to the Spurs and Chris Duarte uh, second round picks and cash to the Bulls. I'm guessing Chris Duarte is a bull. Former about lottery pick with the uh, Pacers. Um, and two second round picks for DeMar DeRozan and cash as well. I'm not going to lie to Bulls. To be able to move off DeMar, you got a young guy in Chris Duarte. See if you can get some of that rookie year magic out of him. If not, okay. And you also get second round picks in the cash as well. I'm not gonna lie, that, that, that's pretty valid. And I believe we we'll just updated the picks as well. But I want to get into the contract of the Martin Rose. And I also want to mention as well, the spacing is gonna be interesting. Yes, the Air Fox had the best three point shooting season of his NBA career. So he, he started off red hot from three. I mean, like red hot from three. So he was having like 30 points a game. It was an MVP conversation, shooting uh, an insane percentage from three. And then it kind of went down, but it still it was the best shooting season of his NBA career from the three point line, I believe. I'll look it up right now. I know De'Aaron Fox averaged uh, 26 points a game. And from the three point line, De'Aaron Fox, let me just quickly look this up. De'Aaron Fox last season shot 36.9% for three, which was the best of his NBA career, not counting 2019, which I don't think his attempts were as, as high as they were in the 2023 2024 season. Uh, yeah, Deer Fox now has a, another guy to add to the mid range assassin club with himself. Again, it's basically gonna be, gonna be interesting because Sabonis doesn't really shoot threes, even though he's percentage wise isn't really bad from the Hoop line. Deer Fox shoots a good amount of threes and had his, his career year from three. Brother DeMar DeRozan shoots a couple of threes a game, like two or three, and he made 33% last season. Um, I definitely think he could be at least like a league average three-point shooter with the Sacramento Kings. I want to see how Mike Brown cooked his offense. I want to see what happens in the clutch. We know DeMar DeRozan in the clutch. I remember that year, like two years ago, he made All-NBA. He had two game winners like back-to-back -back against the Pacers. 
Um, the Modern Rosen is made for big moments. He's a king in the fourth quarter for a reason. I'm really excited to see him and here, Fox and Demonis Bonus pair up for this quote unquote big three. Everybody just has a big three nowadays. Apparently, we're going to see what that um, ends up leading to. And let's go ahead and just break down uh, this deal for DeMar DeRozan. So according to Woj, DeMar DeRozan is signing a three-year deal with the Sacramento Kings for $74 million, which I looked earlier, it was around like $23 million AAV. But if I look at it now from uh, the updated numbers, because the updated numbers were like $70 million for three years. If you look at it now, 74 divided by three, if you look that up, that is $24.6 million AAV for DeMar DeRozan, which is average 24 points a game. Uh, very, very good uh, season for DeMar DeRozan with the Chicago Bulls. And he also did just shoot 48% from the field. So he's efficient, not really from three. He hasn't really shot over 35% except for his first year with the Bulls, which wasn't really on that many attempts a game. You got to gotta just average 24, four and five. 48% from the field, 33% from three. I will take that and run if I'm a Sacramento King, uh, for, for the Sacramento Kings. And Kings, how do you guys feel about this? As a Heat fan, there are rumblings, rumors about him joining Miami Heat. And I was like, fuck it, why not? This pacing would be in interesting with Jimmy Butler. shoots a couple of threes, but he's not really three, but he has to shot like 40% from three on like two attempts a game. Whoop the fucking do. And if I was just now shooting threes and he shot Percentage wise, not great, but the second half of the season, he really looked a lot better. Even taking threes in the playoffs, which is like an eye opener, like, okay. Uh, but yeah, it's really spacing wise, definitely wouldn't have been amazing. And we definitely didn't have $23 million AAV to give to the Motor Road. So shout out to the Kings for pulling the trigger on the Motor Rosen. He's now a Sacramento King. And apparently, the first two years of the Motor Rosen contract are fully guaranteed at $59 million. The third year is partially guaranteed, according to Chris Haynes of um, Bleacher Report. Now, um, you also look at the fact that um, Woj also just tweeted out as well, I believe the uh, number for the picks. Uh, he had just tweeted out that the Kings will also send the Spurs a 2030, a 2031 unprotected pick swap. Is that a first round pick or second round? big swap i don't know to be quite frank but um yeah motor rosen is a king harrison barnes is a spur how do you guys feel about all of that and remember as well see chris and just hit me with the notification right now dear fox did not sign his contract extension with the kings because he wanted to see what they were going to do this offseason my thought was they were going to go I want to get a guy like a Brandon Ingram as a rental when it costs a guy like a Keegan Murray, which Kings fans absolutely love and adore. And I get them, Keegan Murray. I suppose this would be a really good player, three level scorer at the NBA level. Was really a really good defender, a phenomenal three point shooting. He's only getting better year by year and improving in terms of creating his shot, gains in mid range, going downhill. Very already He's freakishly, freakishly low key, freakishly athletic. But I digress. They didn't pull the trigger on Brandon Ingram a couple of offseasons ago. It was like they couldn't pull the trigger on, uh, on uh, Kyle Kuzma. They didn't. Kuzma ended up resigning with the uh, with the uh, Wizards, and they ended up resigning Harrison Barnes. And I was like, it's kind of like a low risk, low reward type of a signing, to be quite frank. And now Harrison Barnes is a spur and might potentially be on his way out of San Antonio before he even steps foot in there. For being honest, but according to Chris Haynes, uh, De Aaron Fox played a pivotal role by joining today's meeting to help recruit Demar Rosen. The two are ecstatic about partying together on. on partnering together on the court which is pretty amazing like i just mentioned this now probably wants the Aaron fox to this now probably leads the Aaron fox go hang inside of the sense and he's like okay y'all y'all got my boy damar y'all got my boy demonis a bonus y'all reason my boy malik monk y'all know what's next i'm gonna put pen and paper and i'm gonna sign this contract and resign with the sacramento kings and continue to be the franchise player for the sacramento kings and continue to be the face of that franchise and go ahead and do your thing now, in my opinion, this is a very good signing for the Sacramento Kings. I like this move. Again, spacing-wise, it's going to be interesting. But now you have Malik Monk, who I think should be starting now. Kings fan, how do you guys feel about that? Should Malik Monk still be the sick man, or should he be starting? In my opinion, he should be starting. Starting five of De'Aaron Fox, of Malik Monk, of... DeMar DeRozan or DeMar DeRozan at the three. Keegan Murray's not the four because remember, HP was the four. Now, Keegan Murray can handle the four. He's going to build up like J-Dub, a.k.a. Jalen Williams of the OKC Thunder and now play the four and now have to guard fours. And now your five is obviously going to be DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan is a king. I'd love to see that. Bulls, how do you guys feel about the DeMar DeRozan era 
ending in Chicago is uh, Zach Levine up out of their necks. Is Alonzo Ball out of their necks? Because you know that boy Alex Caruso was out of there. Uh, we're going to end up seeing what's going to happen with all of that. But in my opinion, this is amazing to see. The Kings fan deserve this after a... I was listening to Mike maybe on the OG's podcast with my boys, uh, Udonis Hasman, Mike Miller. It was breaking down the Lakers series and how he felt like that was rigged against him and how he went out on the radio. It was like partying after like game five. He's like, man, the Lakers got no chance. They're, 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 they're dead in the water. We're going to go ahead and do this. And then they felt like the game six, I believe, was rigged. And the game seven, apparently, they just shit themselves. So after that, and then the years after that, when they were just the laughing stock of the NBA, no matter who they had, the Marcus Cousins, all these busts, this, that, and the third. And now they have a very, very fun team. The 2023 Kings was so, so fun to watch. That seven game series against the defending champion Warriors. And then the next year to beat the Warriors in a playing game and then losing to the uh, Pelicans without um, Zion Williamson, though, in the first round. I mean, in the second playing game, and the Pelicans end up getting swept without Zion Williamson in the playing round after they lost Zion Williamson in the first game of the playing game, which they lost against the Lakers, but I digress. Mother Rosen is a king. If I'm a Kings fan, I'll be pretty ecstatic. Again, I want to say Mike Brown. Um, I don't know if the right word is infiltrates or like maps out this system around DeMar Rosen and, De and De'Aaron Fox in particular with Demond and Sabonis as well. Now you got Malik Monk. The spacing is going to be interesting, but like I mentioned, they do have Malik Monk, a really good three-point shooter, and Keegan Murray, a good three-point shooter as well. I want to be surprised that Kevin Herter really isn't involved in this deal. If I was the, if I was personally the Kings, I would start Malik Monk over Kevin Herter. I wouldn't do that. I know he just had a career year off the bench after having a basically a career year with the Lakers uh, to end up signing that deal a couple years later, a year later, because he was on a one-year deal, like better minimum deal or some cheap or some cheap ass deal. He went to the Kings, signed a two-year deal for like a, a decent bag. And now he's up for like, what, 75 million for three years? Got that. Or what was that Malik Monk contract talking about? Perfectly go ahead and end this video. That Malik Monk contract was a four year 70, 78 million dollars. Yeah, 78 million dollars come off the bench. I don't think so. I think Malik Monk has upgraded his role to now a starter, a starter in the NBA. He's now making 19.5 million dollars, which obviously guys with the best like Norman Powell make that amount. But, but if I was the Kings, I would start uh, Malik Monk for spacing purposes because they can't just pack the paint on like DeMar and Theron's not a bad three one shooter. And DeMar Sabonis doesn't really shoot threes. And those, his percentage is like 40%, if I'm not mistaken. DeMar Sabonis, I believe last time I checked, shot like 40% from three or something really close to that. 37.9, 37.3 of the year prior. I want to see DeMar Sabonis shoot more threes as well. I just saw Isaiah Hunterstein talk a bit. Like today, I was kind of like in a box with uh, the Knicks and Tom Thibodeau. We didn't really shoot too many threes. But now with the Thunder, you're going to expect him to shoot more threes. Now, I've been telling Thunder fans, Chad's a power forward and Isaiah Hunterstein can be the center. You're not going to pay $29 million a year, $87 million over three years for uh, I Heart to play off the bench. Like, no. I know you, I know you guys want to run that five out. I know Chet might not be able to guard fours right now currently. That's why you got to work on that during the offseason and this, that, and nature. But, yeah, we're going to end up seeing more guys in centers during the three points. And hopefully for the Kings and for them, Demonis Bonus becomes one of those guys that shoot more threes and that just makes the offense just it just unlocks just a different dynamic for this already really good offense. That with the acquisition of uh DeMar Rosen to pair up with all NBA talent, um De'Aaron Fox and all the NBA third team center, Demonis Bonus. But other than that, y'all, that is the video. So go down below, drop a like, comment down below, sub up. Make sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok, your boy John. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video and I'm out, man. Peace.